Welcome back. And we're here today with Kelly Myers of Myers Studio and Fine Art Gallery. And Kelly, I am so tickled to be here with you in your very own studio. And I know this is not the first studio you've had or gallery, but tell me how you got started here in Tahlequah with this particular gallery. Well, uh, I, my original place was a little tiny hallway of a place, and I called it my glorified hallway. And I really, uh, I had just outgrown my space in my home, and I was looking for a place to studio, to work, just to get everything out of the house. And I found that little space that had a, a nice little uh, gallery portion with good lighting in the front, and I intended to just bring clients there. But it wasn't very long after I moved in that all, some of my artist friends and, and some of the other artist contacts in town started asking for uh, shows. And there's, as you know, there's not very many venues here, and there definitely wasn't at that time. For, uh, it was about four years ago. So I started to have some shows, but we were cramped when we had that space, and I was needing to move for quite a long time and just kind of put it off. And I had a few um, issues with the building, a few problems with the building, and just decided to go and find a larger space. And I ended up here in this wonderful space. And originally, I wasn't certain I was gonna open a gallery portion to the public, but I just couldn't stand it. I love putting on the event, events, and I love having an opportunity to reach out to the community and to be able to share my passion with the community and offer um, something a little different, a little exciting, and a, a place for other artists to show here, because we have an amazing amount of talent here in the area. Uh, even the show that is up right now is 15 different regional artists and it's only a tiny sampling of the talent that we have here. And it coincided with the uh, Art of Living and Festival and that was really good. Tell us how many people you had coming through that event. Oh, uh, we had a gallery hop on Friday night before the Art of Living and we actually ended up having five gallery openings that night. It was so exciting. It was the first time we'd ever had anything like that in downtown Tahlequah. And we had close to maybe 200 people that came through that night. It was, it was a lot of fun. And then probably maybe about that many again the next day during the Art of Living Festival. It was really exciting to see that many people come out and support the artist. Um, Sometimes at art shows, you, you really never know what kind of turnout you're going to have, and it might be mostly the artists and their families, but it was people from all different areas, you know, that, that kind of maybe even stepped out of their comfort zone and came, came in and wanted to see what was going on. Well, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Well, clearly you're passionate about what you do, and I've always said that give me a passionate person and I will surely show you success. And it, just looking around at, at the, like you said, the 15 different artists that you have here, uh, you can see there's kind of a theme, but there's a lot of variety here. Are they local to the region, the area? Most of them are. There's a few artists that are from this area, and uh, we have one from South Carolina and one from North Carolina that were originally from here and, and sent the work back that I had maybe had contact with before they moved. But most of them live around here. Um, we just have an amazing amount of talent. Amazing amount. Tahlequah is really unique in that aspect. We've got a lot of great musicians, we've got a lot of great artists, and it just kind of breeds creativity in this kind of a, a, a vibe that's here. And I'd just love for more and more venues and more and more opportunities for that to be uh, something that the community really understands and embraces. Well, and I hope you could stay here for a long time because it's nice as people come back to visit, if they have a favorite shop or a gallery they like to revisit, it's always nice that they're still there. And um, I'm hoping for a long time here for you. I think well, that thank would be you. great. I, now, I am too. <laughs> yeah, when, when this show is down, which it's, it's clearly going down, uh, what is your next big event? Well, uh, this show will go down and then kind of through the summer we're going to, uh, it'll be mostly my work that, that'll be up, not an official show. Um, uh, some of the art classes, if they uh, come together with enough work, we'll have a student art show in August. and. Uh, after that, during Cherokee National Holiday on September 3rd, we'll have a big show. It'll be the third year to have the show. It's called Native Influence 3, and that will be a phenomenal show. I'm already starting to get submissions for artwork for that show, and it's going to be the best ever. It's, it's really going to be a nice show. And hopefully, the other galleries will be uh, willing to put together another gallery hop. We'll have another great night, not just here in my gallery, but in downtown. Well, that's great. And you give art lessons? Uh, I do have classes. Yes, I have classes available. Um, this fall, I will have a, a whole selection of adult and 
children's classes. This summer I have some art camps that, that kids can be a part of. Oh, that's always fun. I yeah. know to share that with the upcoming generation that uh, can clearly enjoy the art that's here and make their own uh, way in, in the world of art. Um, what is your art? What is your passion when you're painting? Well, um, when I guess if I had to classify myself as anything, I would classify myself as a colorist and a process artist and by that I mean that the color is very important to me color mixing um, how they work together and make harmony and unity no matter what medium I'm working in because as you know I, I work in several different mediums I everything from jewelry to um, three-dimensional work mm -hmm. to oil painting and and watercolor I, I bounce around a lot I like a lot of different things um, and I like things that take you through a, a real process that you're not just uh, focused on one aspect of what you're doing but you have a lot of um, different things going on for example printmaking mm -hmm. that is something where you've got several steps to produce the artwork so um, it's hard to box mm -hmm. myself in if um, it, you know working in so many different meetings, me mediums, but if I had to, it would be a Well, colorist. I think that's what makes your studio so great, diversified. So if you want to come and see some great local art and sometimes some shows, uh, please keep um, abreast of Kelly Myers and her creations and come sure. and take a visit in her studio. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thanks, Kelly, for being on our show, and the best of luck to you. Thanks, Patty. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yeah.